All right. Hi everyone. Um, if you are watching this, then you are most likely wondering what my news is that I have to share. And um, it's been, I have to say, like it's been a really, really tough decision to make. Um, and it's been very emotional. I've been like having really tough days full of like really strong emotions. Um, and I know I'm gonna have like a million questions after this and that's okay. Um, you're entitled to your questions and I will explain as best as I can when the time is right. Um, but today, when you're watching this on Friday, it's my last day as a teacher. Um, I resigned um, two weeks ago. I gave my two weeks notice um, two weeks ago, like I just said. And um, I never ever imagined that I would be leaving teaching mid-year, ever. So keep that in mind when um, you're thinking about this. Something led me to resign mid-year um, and it wasn't, it's not, it's not my blog, it's not my boutique, it's not um, any of those businesses that led me to resign. Something um, was happening at school where I worked that made me um, lead to the decision to resign. So, as I said, it's been a very emotional decision. I've been feeling all the emotions and stress and sadness and just so many feelings going on. So, I ask that when you see this video and you hear the news, please give me grace. I know there are gonna be some of you out there who are, maybe you're gonna stop following me because you're only following me because I was a teacher, which that's fair. That's 100% your right and I'm okay with that. Um, but also just give me grace because I am, this has been something that I'm struggle, I've struggled with. Um, I thought about this a lot. Um, it's been a really tough year for me because of what's been going on at school. Um, and I'm so thankful I've had an amazing team. My kindergarten team was amazing. Um, I still, they still are amazing. Um, I'm really just fortunate that I got to, work, got to work with them and that they were so supportive of me and they always had my back. Um, and so many of my other coworkers as well, same thing. They are so supportive of me, always have my back, and they 100% they understand my decision. Um, like I said, there's a lot of people who are going to assume that I made this decision based off of, or because I have my blog, my boutique, my Young Living business. That's not why, but I, I can respect why people might think that. I have to say that I am very fortunate that I do have those other jobs. Um, and those other opportunities that made me able to leave when I was uncomfortable, when I was, my mental health was not well. Like I have not been okay. Um, I'm very fortunate that I have other businesses and I have another job that I can do full time um, because of the way I was feeling with teaching. I'm so lucky that I had the option to leave because I know there's so many people out there I know there's people at my school, people at other schools who are feeling the way I'm feeling. This year has been so incredibly tough um, for so many reasons. And teachers, as we know, do not get paid enough. We do are not valued. Um, we There's a lot of things that teachers, um, I could go on forever about this, but if you're a teacher, you know what I'm saying, you know how I'm feeling, um, and you most likely agree with most things that I'm saying. So I'm not gonna go into too much more detail. Um, just know that this was a decision I made because I needed to take care of my mental health. Um, I was not myself outside of school, in school. I was um, extremely anxious, depressed, like just all the things that you don't wanna be <laughs> when you're going to work every day. That's what I was feeling. Um, and it was because of certain things going on at school. Um, so I, like I said, I took it upon myself to resign. It was not an easy decision. I've told you guys before, I have an amazing class this year. The kids in my class are amazing. I love them so, so much. So leaving them was such a hard decision to make and the families that I've worked with have been amazing as well. Um, so I'm so grateful for that and I'm grateful for the 105 days that I got to work with these kids and these families. Um, and it's been pretty much 
like for the most part, a great experience at the school I was at um, until this year, certain circumstances. And like I said, I'm not gonna go into further detail right now, maybe in the future I can, but right now it's still so fresh and raw and I don't want to say the wrong thing um, in a time where I'm feeling emotional and sad and yeah. Um, I talked to my parents about this. I talked to Nick about this. They're 100% supportive. Um, they said you need to do whatever's going to make you happy, take care of yourself, and that's what I'm doing. So I am no longer a teacher, um, and I don't know what my plan for next year is. I don't picture myself going back to teach at a different school. Um, like I said, I'm really, really fortunate that I have my blog and my boutique and my Young Living business. I can focus 100% on those right now. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for now. Um, I'm sure I'm missing something. I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of questions and a lot of judgment coming from this and that's okay. Um, I'm prepared for that. And um, I just ask that you give me a little bit of grace because I still am very emotional about this decision and um, it was not an easy decision to make. And the fact that I had to do it mid-year, I hope that you keep that in mind and take that into consideration before making any harsh judgments on my decision. But I love you guys. I'm so thankful you're here. Um, I hope that you respect my decision and try to understand where it came from even though I couldn't really tell you what happened but um yeah I'll be seeing you guys on my stories all day every day now so that's an exciting thing about it um choosing to see the positives and not dwell on the negatives or the sadness about this decision that I had to make so thank you guys um I appreciate you and I love you and I'm so thankful you're here and um yeah, this, this is the next chapter of my life and I'm really excited, bittersweet. It's such a bittersweet feeling, but I'm excited and I cannot wait to jump into this next chapter of my life with you guys. So thanks for watching. Um, I will talk to you guys soon.